neglect, you, you may think, oh, it is hot or driving, whether, what does it matter, right or left? But no, as soon as you drive left, you become criminal. Similarly, because we do not know our relationship with God, therefore we are acting wrongly. And therefore, under the laws of God, we are becoming more and more criminal. And our problems are increasing. Therefore, in spite of advancement of education, science, civilization, nice dress, car, and everything, nobody trusts nobody. Everywhere you go, a gentleman's house, we saw beer of the dog, no trespasser allowed. All is suspicious. A individual person is suspicious of another individual person. A nation is suspicious of another nation. A community is suspicious of another community. So how can you have peace and prosperity? Suspiciousness means animal, animalistic. If dog is suspicious of another dog, as soon as it finds another dog, he immediately begins to bark. Oh, oh, oh. So is that human civilization? Yeah. So what is the mistake of the human civilization? The mistake of the human civilization is that they have forgotten the relationship with God. So here is the scientific statement of our relationship with God. And then, according to that relationship, exactly in the same way, just like understanding your relationship, your citizenship in a state, you can act nicely. Similarly, if you know our relationship with God, we can act very nicely, and that is peaceful life. Besides that, this life, the present life, is not all. We have got life after death. That is a fact. Uh, just like uh, we are continu continuously in life, in this present life, uh, you are a child, I was a child. Every one of us were a child. That was a life. Then we became boy. Then we became youth. Now we are, I am becoming old. And generally, when this body will be useless, I will have to take another body. This is the way. Unfortunately, uh, the, the people, they do not believe in the next life. Although in every day affair they are experiencing that I am eternal. I can remember the days of my childhood. I can remember the days of my youthhood, my boyhood. And I am still working. That means I am continuously there, although my body in different ways has changed. So it is a fact that even after changing this body, you will have another body. Just like you are sitting in this room. Now, if you vacate this room, that does not mean you are finished. You have gone in some other room. So this is a great science. And people are neglecting this science. They have no uh, information. There are so many departments in university, technological, uh, medical, engineering. But where is the department to know and understand what is the this life? What is God? What is our relationship? So this is not very uh, good civilization. Uh, so there is life. After this life, uh, just like progressive life, 
A child is progressing to youthhood. The youth is aspiring to become a big man, important man. As in this life, there is progressive life. Similarly, life after life, there is also progress. There are different grades of life. So we get information from authoritative books that there are eight million four hundred thousand of different grades of life, and there are nine hundred thousand of aquatic life, two million species of plants and trees. About eleven hundred thousand species of life, of birds, and three million types of species of beast, and four hundred thousand species of this human body. Out of that four hundred thousand different kinds of human bodies, the civilized body is a great boon. And at that time, we can make further progress. Either we can transfer to other planets, the standard of living, comforts are many, many thousands times better than this planet. But in this book, Bhagavad Gita, as it is, we get information that within this material universe. Wherever you go, either you remain in this planet or you go to the moon planet or to the sun planet, or there are millions and trillions of planets. The highest planetary system is called Brahma Loka. There, the duration of life is very, very great. You cannot calculate even twelve hours of the days. These are described in this book, Bhagavad Gita as it is. Sahasra Yuga Pajantam Arahajat Brahmano Vidu. Four hundred, three thousand years is the duration. So four hundred, yes, four hundred three thousand of years, solar year, is the one unit of Yuga. Such thousand yugas makes twelve hours of the Brahmalok planet. Similarly, they live there for a hundred years. But these four things, namely birth, death, old age, and disease, these four things are everywhere. Either you live in this planet or moon planet or sun planet or any other planet, the duration of life may be very very great. Just like in comparison to the ant, our life, human being, we have got hundred years age. So, so to the ant it may be very astonishing. Oh, how such a great length of time one can live. Similarly, we may be astonished by hearing a twelve hours duration of Brahma Loka, but actually there is. But still, you cannot have heard death. Death is there. So from this book, we understand from the version of Krishna or God that. Abrama bhavana lokan punaravatya nadj. Even if you go to the highest planetary system, again you have to come back. In this way, all living entities are rotating from one planet to another, from one species of life to another. But we don't want this, actually. If I say that if I give you a nice body, youthful body, and eternal body, full of knowledge, uh, uh, would you not like to have it? 
Uh, nobody likes old age, nobody likes death, nobody likes to die, nobody likes to take birth again, enter into the womb of mother and live there ten months, we are tight packed. Nobody likes. But what is the solution? Is there any solution by the scientist? No scientist can say, oh, well, 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 all right, we shall stop death, we shall stop disease. Uh, they can manufacture nice medicine to counteract disease, but they cannot manufacture anything which will stop disease. Uh, you can fight against uh, death very nicely, but you cannot stop death. These are the problems. But there is no education in the modern civilization. Uh, how to stop death, how to stop disease, how to stop old age, how to stop birth, uh, how to attain eternal life, how to attain blissful life. Uh, they have no education. But uh, this Krishna consciousness movement uh, although it appears a new movement in your country, but uh, it is known to the world, but nobody uh, had previously attempted to put these ideas and movement in practical sense.